Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News starts now. Bakersfield police are investigating a homicide in central Bakersfield. We'll have the very latest details on what investigators are now saying. And we have an update on the 12 year old first reported missing on Friday afternoon. Good morning and thanks for joining us here at 23 ABC News at 8 a.m. I'm Tori Cooper and I'm Emma Lockhart. Mother Nature finally taking a back seat. Holiday weather was wild, but some changes, finally some calm weather. Yeah, we are not tracking any rain in the forecast, so no storms moving through. Taking a look outside, you can see that sun is up. Those skies are clear. Just a little bit of cloud cover out there right now, but mostly sunny skies will continue throughout the day. As for the temperatures, actually above average for this time of year, 43 in Bakersfield right now, and that visibility is good. Not tracking any fog this morning. 39 in Pine Mountain Club, 46 in Fraser Park, 45 in Hatchby, 32 up in Lake Isabella. So some weather headlines for you to be aware of. That warming trend continues today. Highs are about 10 degrees above normal, but a cold front is going to move through the region overnight. So there's going to be some rain to the north of us, but it's going to stay there. However, those winds are going to increase here in our mountains and desert. I'll have more details on that in just a bit. Breaking news this morning, Bakersfield police are investigating a homicide after locating a body in central Bakersfield overnight. Police responded to 30th Street shortly before 2 a.m. today for reports of a man down. Officials found the man dead on scene and have now confirmed that he was a victim of a stabbing. There is no suspect information at this time, but anyone with information is urged to contact BPD at 327-7111. PG&E is also reporting a power outage in East Bakersfield this morning, impacting more than 250 customers. According to their website, an equipment issue caused the outage. The crews are right off of Nile Street and Oswell Street working to assess the scene. As of now, officials say power is set to be restored in that area at 9 a.m. this morning. For more information on the outages in your area, all you have to do is head right to our website, turn to 23.com. New this morning, family says a local boy who was reported missing is now home safe and sound. 12 year old Samuel De La Cruz pictured here was originally reported missing around noon yesterday in South Bakersfield. 23 ABC spoke with Samuel's father Eddie De La Cruz this morning who confirmed Samuel is home safe. He said he feels good that he is home and that prayer works. BPD has released the results of an overnight operation to disrupt street racing in Bakersfield. The results show officials made 14 traffic stops, issued 11 citations, and impounded one vehicle. BPD will be conducting more street racing operations in the coming weeks. Kern County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a suspicious shooting death in Oildale. According to officials, deputies responded to a report of a victim with a gunshot wound at the Highland Knowles Mobile Home Park on T Lane and North Chester Avenue at about 2.20 p.m. Friday. When deputies arrived, they found a 76-year-old man dead at the scene. Officials are unsure of the circumstances surrounding the shooting. Anyone with information about what may have happened is asked to call KCSO at 8 Six one thirty one ten. Kern County Sheriff deputies are also investigating a shooting in Wasco that left one man injured. According to officials, Wasco deputies responded to the area of Broadway Street and 12th Street after, at about 5 p.m. Friday for reports of a man down. When deputies arrived, they found an adult Hispanic man with several injuries, including a gunshot wound. Officials saying the man was airlifted to Kern Medical for treatment, and at last check, the man's condition was critical but stable. No suspect information has been released as of yet, but the investigation is ongoing and anyone with information is urged to contact KCSO at 861-3110. In other news, the city announced that the Bakersfield Fire Department has retained its exclusive Class 2 Insurance Services Office rating, putting BFD in the top 1.5% of all departments in the nation. The evaluation includes scoring on services such as responsiveness to emergencies, staffing levels, and training. It also looked at the availability of water supply to the department and the quality of the department's communication and dispatch systems. Fire Department 
departments across the country are rated by the ISO on a scale of 1 to 10, with Class 1 being the top ranking. The rating is used by insurance companies to determine homeowner and commercial insurance rates. New year means new ways to have fun. That's right, and American Off-Road is hosting their first trip of the year today to Last Chance Canyon. 23 ABC's Amani Stevens live at the Shell gas station on Comanche and Highway 178 with details on today's event. That's right, Torinum. It's sure a perfect way to have some fun on the first weekend of the New Year's. So we're going to bring in Missy Sanders with American Off-Road. Good morning. Good morning. And what can people expect for today's ride? Just some great family fun uh, with great people and great off-road family. And there's no cost to come in and join? Absolutely not. Everybody's welcome to come. And you have this, uh, you said lately you're, you're, you haven't had it every week, but you're going to start. When can people expect for the next one? It'll be right now with the weather, a lot of trails are closed due to the rain and the snow, tearing up trails and um, down trees. So once spring hits, a lot of uh, like um, the Bakersfield Trailblazers, they maintain a lot of trails. So they'll go out and clean up trails and open them up for us. So we're talking early spring. Early spring. But today still beautiful weather to get out there today. You're leaving here at 830. Yeah. So we're going to go to Last Chance Canyon. It's just right off the 14, just a little past Mojave. Okay, well, thank you so much. <laughs> and if you're interested in going out to Lost Chance Canyon, you have until 8.30 this morning to head out here on Comanche Drive and near Highway 178. For now, reporting live in Bakersfield, I'm Imani Stevens, 23ABC News, connecting you. Thank you, Imani. Well, if you're looking for another way to have fun or shed some holiday pounds, we have the perfect event just for you. Listen up. The Probation Auxiliary County of Kern is holding its annual fog run today at Lake Mead. Well, we're not tracking any fog this morning, but nope. that's not stopping this event from taking place. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall live at the run. Looks like people are gearing up. How is it out there? Yeah, Tori, I'm hundreds of people out here. Take a look next to me. The 5K run is actually about to start. The 10K runners just took off. 5K starting in just minutes here. This is the Probation Auxiliary County of Kern holding the event. 650, over 650 people turning out today. I'm joined now by Elaine, who is with uh, PAC. You're the president of PAC, and can you explain to me what exactly is going on here today? Uh, today we have our 31st annual fog run which benefits the Probation Auxiliary County of Kern. We also um, donate some of the money to the Alliance Against Family Violence and Sexual Assault to make sure some of the victims are taken care of. But PAC does some great things. We offer no cats tattoo removal services. Um, we offer uh, scholarships towards college or a trade school. And we also uh, have an anti-bullying campaign that reaches out to second grade students and talks to them about how they're unique and they should embrace those, those uh, uniqueness. Can you talk to me about why these causes are so important, especially here in Kern County? New this morning, several earthquakes could be felt in and around the area of Little Lake, California. The quakes began just after 1.30 a.m. and both were centered just east of Little Lake. The first earthquake registered as a 1.5 magnitude quake, according to the USGS, and the second was a 1.9 magnitude quake. We also received several calls from viewers overnight saying that they felt the quakes right here in East Bakersfield. And this weekend also marks six, six months since the communities of Trona and Ridgecrest were rocked by 6.4 and 7.1 magnitude earthquakes. We will be airing a 23 ABC special edition newscast as we talk with residents in Ridgecrest and Trona, hear from seismology experts and talk to Bakersfield officials about if we are prepared here. Join us for the 23 ABC special edition, which is set to air tomorrow during our 6 p.m. newscast.